Power Slap Road to the Title Episode 1 began with a well put together intro, but it did feel silly hearing people talk so seriously about slap fighting. But they got straight to the point in an event a few months back. You see a devastating KO and candid moment where the guy woke up, didn't know what happened. He didn't realize he was at a slap event. He was wondering how he got knocked out. Dana and the coaches on the show decide which guys make it into the house to compete for a chance to be on the pay per view. They also compete for a chance to be ranked. There's going to be four divisions welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. Some of the trash talking on the show was entertaining. Referee Jason Herzog looked like he was holding back laughter at one point. The show has some unusual characters like Slap, Jesus. It's also funny that they have judges' decisions in the sport. One positive about the show is the production is good. Midway through it gets a bit boring so the editing is effective at that point because they introduce a women's fight which was intriguing but in some ways more disturbing. But that was just a one-off women's match and it's going to be all men afterwards so overall it's just very redundant. It's just one strike, a slap. If you're a fan of MMA you're used to an infinite amount of technique and combinations of attacks both from an offensive and defensive standpoint but with this it's just one strike and zero defense and that zero defense is something that feels wrong from a pure MMA standpoint because intelligent defense is everything without it a fight will be stopped another drawback about the sport is sometimes it just comes down to who wins the coin toss and goes first because the guy who goes first could get the KO and not get slapped back overall though the show just feels so stupid so wrong so pointless and feels like you're watching deleted scenes out of the movie Idiot Idiocracy. I found myself becoming increasingly dumber as the show went on and I wasn't smart to begin with. I started the program with a 35 IQ, ended at minus 4 and minus 9 with the wind chill. From all his years in the fight game, Dana may have developed secondhand CTE. That's the only explanation for him getting so involved with this. His mind doesn't seem right and somebody close to him may need to slap some sense into him. Actually, that might not be a good idea. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and if you want to donate, you can through Super Thanks.